Can we have a small discussion? Ha. Ah. The sacrifice of faith. The sacrifice of faith. It takes great faith to offer yourself to the Lord. It takes great faith to offer yourself to the Lord. Hmm. To be able to give high levels of sacrifice, you need to operate in a high dimension of faith. It takes faith to offer sacrifices. And all sacrifices begins with a person. Any sacrifice that does not begin with a person is not pleasing to God. And it is not worth offering. Genesis chapter 4 verse 4. The Bible says. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock. And of the fat thereof, and the Lord had respect for Abel and his offering. There's a reason the Lord had respect first for Abel and then for his offering. That is because. For Abel to offer this kind of offering, he had first offered himself. So the Bible therefore says, rent your hearts, not your garments. The Bible says that offer yourselves as living sacrifices. Holy and acceptable to the Lord for this is your reasonable act of service the sacrifice of the person before the service otherwise the service does not please God service that pleases God comes from vessels that have been offered if the vessel is not offered the service is toxic it's poisonous So Abel offered a certain sacrifice and the Lord had respect for Abel. From this revelation tonight, somebody is about to earn the respect of the Lord. Amen. It's a dimension where God respects a man. That is the dimension where God begins to discuss his plans with people. Surely, the Lord God does nothing unless he has revealed it to his servants, the prophet. But there are many people who don't know what God is about to do. That's why God will go in and have discussions with Abraham over the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. The guy has the respect of God. God as it were, is discussing his intentions with a man. So, Abel offered a certain sacrifice beginning with himself and earned the respect of the Lord. But you see, Genesis doesn't tell us much until we go to the book of Hebrews. When we go to the book of Hebrews, the Bible now tells us how Abel offered the sacrifice. Are you ready to know? <laughs> Hebrews chapter 11 verse 4. Hmm. Yeah, if 
fi Oh, sorry, by faith. By Everybody faith. say by faith. by faith. Oh, your shout will not even kill a house fly. Shout it by faith. By faith. Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. I'm saying there are certain levels of sacrifices. They come by faith, like the sacrifice of yourself. Uh, without faith without faith without faith you cannot be given unto the Lord without faith sir without faith you cannot be given unto God because there are many things that are uncertain I'm saying last year you said I will go out all out for the Lord this year is not happening it's a lack it's a faith problem it is a faith problem it's a faith problem because when you set out to go and look for the Lord you will not find him you will not see him there will not be a building there will not be a person there will not be anything there is nothing that is showing you that God this is God so it takes great faith to decide that I'm going to follow God I'm going to follow someone I can't see hey. someone I cannot hear most of the time I cannot I was saying inside the other time I don't know maybe when you start praying something appears Maybe when you start praying, Jesus appears. But many times when I'm praying, nothing happens. Nothing comes. I can't see anything. I can't hear anything. And yet I'm in prayer. It takes great faith. Great faith. This service that we are having, have you seen anything? Have you seen anything? Jesus said, Blessed are they that have not seen but believe it takes great faith to ask yourself what am I going to eat and still decide though I don't know what I am going to eat I'm going to follow the Lord the sacrifice of faith if I perish So Abel, hey, by faith, by faith. What it means is that Cain was not able to offer an excellent sacrifice because he lacked faith. He didn't have faith. Look, when you don't have faith, you will know, apostle, man of God, you will know that there is a call of God upon your life. But before you realize they are doing retirement for you and you have not answered the call. You'll be walking about telling people that me the call of God is upon my life. Yet the nyamia freya, but before you know, time is over. Because you are a man of the flesh, because you are a woman that works by sight. But the Bible says, by faith, by faith, the just shall survive. They shall live by what? By faith. Oh, am I preaching in the mosque? Hey. I mean, am I preaching to Christians? Hey. By faith. Sacrifices of faith. By faith, people sat on a ship, came to Africa, a place they have never seen, and knew that they would die of malaria, and they came. They came. They came. By faith. By faith. By faith. And here we are. By faith, Thomas went to India, know that, knowing that he will be killed. And he still went. He went. By faith. By faith. Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice. Hey. Even Sana sacrifice so cry the GDA. Sana for real so cry the GDA na ebo. The GDA. Oti ho. Ena uye mass. Ena uye calculation. Busu miswa. Si na etuami. Na misha. By fifteenth no. 
a bit miasa. Ji, osi mi kobo pongo bi edi balance no. Na di ni mpo unsu unsi mi nyaya chile di na mi ko yue nyame. By faith. I fail. I fail. When I see women that are being ordained as pastors, my heart rejoices because it takes great faith for a woman to say, I have given myself to the Lord. What's the word? Woman. Woman. Woman was the one that fire was coming. And they said, don't turn back. Otherwise, you will die. And he said, my bag is there. My shoes are there. I cannot, my shoes are, are burning. <laughs> my, my wigs are burning. My fascinators are burning. My makeup kit. So woman said, I will look back. If I perish, I perish. Or that's what you Woman. So when the woman says, I am leaving my bags, I am leaving my fascinators, I am leaving my shoes, and I'm going to follow Jesus, it's a great action of faith. I know the girls, they don't like to hear much about the Bible. So that's why all these brothers are singing. Who your money? Singing. What kind of Bible, sad? A man in pet. Omo mpe. Omo mpe. Omo mpe. Mix of Nathan Ebasi and Davido. Davido and Nathan Ebasi. Ah, yeah, mix. I mix. I want a spiritually wild guy. <laughs> but after tonight, some woman will respond to their call by faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. We are going. It is working. It is working. It is not working. It is working. He took the first because he himself was offered. Is someone here? The sacrifices of it, there are, there are sacrifices you have to make. There are insults you have to receive because of the cross. It is a sacrifice of faith. Some of you, you can't want some kakra na eye o ya. You can't want some kakra na ubu e fu me jai mi na me ba e me ma biom. San kro fo we a sorry for the sa me 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 dia me tina me ba bi a jene me ho. And then you come and lift your hands to Jesus, who was crucified and was spat on and was slapped and said, "Forgive them, Lord. They do not know what they do." You need great faith. I'm calling out everybody here. There is a ministry over your life. You need faith to respond to that ministry. You need faith to take territories for God. Am I talking to a church? Enough of the phlegmatism. It's time to rise as lions and lionesses and go for the law. Calculation is not those. Awesome. Abel gave. He gave the best. He gave his all. He gave his first. Cain just gave some. He just gave. The Bible doesn't state that he gave his, his first or even his best. But he just gave. You see, some of you, dear Yanni, say, 
some of you you have your hand to the plow but you are not giving your first and you are not giving your best you are wasting time But the Lord showed me a new army tonight. Ah. While we were praying. I saw an army. I saw an army. I don't know how many believe they are in the ranks. You know, there are some people who are not sure. They are not sure because Ochina in your will be a promise in the match. Listen to me. You need to sacrifice that match. It is part of the sacrifices of faith. decide that some girl has invited you to a nice place but I am not going it is a sacrifice of faith by faith hey. maybe I can write the scripture by faith Desmond decided that I am not going to meet that girl offer himself to end the respect of the Lord. How did he do it? How did he do it? How did he do it? By faith. I need men of faith and women of faith in this place. Praise the Lord somebody. Please understand. The vessel is what determines the quality of the sacrifice. The vessel. The vessel. You know, that's why all this thing, I'm going to buy anointing or yeah, I need anointing or it's useless. There's no power in the bottle. The bottle is backed by the carrier. The bottle is sponsored by the carrier. Finish. That's it. Some of the people who are not going to be from the anointing or the anointing. But who bomb pie as of who bomb pie? You can see the people you touch him, you no know, oil, you see the response. You touch him with oil, you see you, you see different response altogether. Who do satus now? Who bomb pie? You know, no, yeah. So, Papa, no, no, no. But who do oil? The good is what? The vessel. That's why when you look at the Old Testament utensils, they changed from bronze to gold as you went into the holy place. The more closer we were going to God, the more quality the vessels were required to be. Are you around? And the Bible is clear in the house of God, there are many vessels, some unto honor, some unto dishonor. There are vessels. The quality of the vessel determines the quality of the sacrifice. Hallelujah. So Abel was able to offer himself because of the faith that he had. You see, without faith, our walk with the Lord will become ordinary. It will be ordinary. We came to Jesus by faith. We stay with him by faith. This was one of the problems of Apostle Paul all the time. So when he went and he said, who has bewitched you? Having started in the spirit, you came to Christ by faith. You will survive by faith. Our walk is by faith. Faith is what will move you on adventures with the Lord. <laughs> Look, whether you give yourself as a worship minister, evangelist, children's service teacher, usher, whatever, it will be a product of faith. Because the absence of faith is the presence of fear. Where there is fear, there is no action. Just uncertainties. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. You know, that's why we have the expression leap of faith. Have you heard it before? Hmm. Sister, the fear of the unknown will stop you from responding to your ministry. Brother, the fear of the unknown will stop you from responding to your ministry. 
the Lord would have used you mightily. But you have not developed your faith. Because fear has gripped many of us. The fear of what will happen to me, what will I eat, where will I go, how will it be for me tomorrow, how will the future be, the fear of sickness. There are even people who are afraid that if I serve the Lord, the devil will attack me. And there are many of us who are even afraid of what we don't know. Look, I came with an announcement. Whether you serve the Lord or you don't serve the Lord, the devil is coming for you. So better serve him so that you, 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 you have protection in the Lord. He is, he is coming for you. The day you said I'm following Jesus, that's the day you declared war. That's the day. So if you don't want the devil to attack you, deliver us. That's the, that's the best solution. Also, a Yakra Usuru Cemetery, and a Jube Nakoda Cemetery. Titanahaya Usi Debi. No, a Casa Codes, ye and a Jute of Ubitim. Oh, oh, even your own shadows are scaring you. I was like, Do you know why we don't pray? It's a lack of faith. It's a lack of faith. Yeah. Prayerlessness is faithlessness. Because we have gotten to a time where we feel that when instead of praying, it, it is better to go and hustle. That is not a, a message against hard work though, but instead of praying, it's even better. Let me go and talk to somebody. Hey, hey. One day the Lord told me, stop speaking to people. He said, talk to me. Let me talk to men on your behalf. You cannot even clap. Oh, anyway. Oh, Sir, the Lord told me, men will not hear you. Men. A man cannot talk to another man. Uh -uh. a man cannot change a man a man cannot advise a man it's one of the things I've learned so painfully as a pastor you cannot change anybody so the Holy Ghost said talk to the Lord he will talk to men on your behalf talk to the Lord he will talk to your husband on your behalf pastor talk to men he will talk to, he will talk to God he will talk to men on your behalf men they won't hear you men when, men, when you say I am here men will not see you when you say I am here, watch me, which is what, what many of us are trying to do. Men will not see you. Men will not respond. That is why a voice came from heaven, parted, and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. He spoke to the people. Hear ye him. Then the people, the ears of men will be given to you because you are talking to God. But we don't have faith. That's why we don't pray. You, you, have set, you have set spice over your husband. You, assistant Holy Ghost. You have set spice. Uh, this is the car number. You have given your husband's car number to people. Go you, you, oh, look, look your, your heart. But there is a place in God. Where you go and say, oh God, I summon this man to you. I can see there is some level of blindness. I summon him to you. Send your angels uh, to remove every veil uh, covering his eyes. Uh, send your angels uh, to talk to him, uh, to apply to his heart. You believe in connection men more than prayer. That's why we don't pray. <laughs> we believe in using our own strength. That's why we don't pray much. Look, and to all the pastors, pray that the people, the members of your church, will receive answered prayers. When people receive answered prayers, they pray more. Yeah. It's true. 
It's one of the prayers every pastor must pray. That the, the prayers of your people will be answered. Yeah. But you see, many times we don't believe that our prayer can be answered. That my prayer can change something. That's why we don't pray. It's, a, it's faithlessness. Bro, there are people, there are people in church that are cold, or like they are. It's like battery be a ewu, ewu, ewu. You know me, I say, obi sin a faith, faith ne kusi ne kra kra ne sin, kusi sin. Wewu. We have more confidence in our efforts than in the hand of God. Are you around? The Bible is clear. By strength shall no man, no man, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what your name is, doesn't matter what your title is. The moment you begin to rely on your strength, your failure has begun. Failure has begun. Let us rely on faith. My message is aiming to sow a seed of faith in your spirit. Faith can do things. The Bible says that the whole world was framed. The world we see and all that is in were framed by faith. Even God used use faith to create. Even God used faith. I'll tell you what faith is, short, is, short, is shortly. So don't worry. Praise the Lord. I don't have I don't have strength. I don't I don't what you don't know that is that faith is strength. Faith is strength. I don't I have I have nobody. I don't know anything. What you don't know is that faith is capital. The lack of faith has stopped many, many from fulfilling their God given mandate. Faith is strength. Genesis 18, verse 11. Hmm. Genesis 18, 11. And Abraham and Sarah were old, really old. And Sarah was beyond the age of childbearing. Beyond. Beyond. You know? One day, was a pastor was saying that, oh, you know, those times they used to grow old, so maybe 90 years was not old. The Bible makes it clear that she was very, very old. And, and what? Who, who is there? I'm reading the modern English, so give me something. NLT. Sarah was beyond. Sarah was long past the age of having children. Long past. <laughs> long. Long, long, long. The time Sarah could have given birth was gone. Long, long, long. Long. Praise the Lord. Genesis 17, 17. Romans 4 19. Genesis 17 17. Romans 4 19. The time Sarah could give birth was past. Oh, sorry, so Then Abraham bowed down to the ground, but he laughed. You see, some of you think that it's only Sarah that laughed. Abraham also laughed. <laughs> you see, my man is, Abraham also laughed to himself in disbelief. How could I become a father at the age of 100? He thought. And how can Sarah have a baby when she is 90 years old? A pound. Romans 4.19. But something is about to shift. 
after all this, you see, that's why you need to read the Bible from end to end. You know, after all the who did now have because Romans 4 19 and Abraham's faith after he laughed, <laughs> something has happened to him. He was in disbelief, and then he moved from disbelief into belief. When he was in disbelief, his body could not could not deliver. And his wife's body could not deliver. But Abraham's faith did not weaken. It only got stronger. Somebody went to Jesus and said, Oh, son of Jesus, son of God, help my own belief. It's a prayer you need to be praying. It's a prayer you need to be praying because sometimes you make confessions. You make confessions and you realize that the more you are making the confessions, the more things are getting worse. Things are getting worse, but your faith must increase in the process. Somebody say, by faith. Hmm. Even though at about 100 years of age, he figured his body was as good as dead. And so was Sarah's womb dead. 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 Nya ewo no be nyankwa. Nya e nyankwa be free. You believe too much in the doctor's report. Nya e fi fi be swaba. Oh, sorry, so. One day, the doctor said, there's a problem with your liver. I said, whose report shall we believe? There's a report from the doctor, but there's a report from the Lord. The report is that by his wounds, you were healed. That's the report. I choose believe that report over over the medical people will tell you there are people who have HIV they don't know they are fine the day they get to know they have HIV they start dying but all along they were fine going about eating ice cream watching nothing no issue but the day they got to know that I have this they started dying. Hey, fear is an arrow. It can end your life prematurely. Sarah's, Abraham's body was dead. Sarah's womb was Sarah, his womb was dead. But let's go to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 11. The sacrifice of faith it includes giving up what you know giving up what you think you know giving up what you think you have learned giving up what you have been told giving up what men have told you giving up what experts have told you and taking what the lord has said is there someone here that you think that a dear way is beyond time I hear sometimes, I hear women say, my clock is ticking, my clock is ticking, my time is passing, your time is passing. If you are sitting under the sound of my voice, none shall lack his meat. Depends on what you believe. I've told you that what I preach, I should have earned. I don't go and listen to things or read things and come and preach. I preach from revelation. I preach from what the Lord has showed me and told me. I preach what I understand by the grace of God. No, King James, King James, King James. Through, hey, can, do you see this? Can we look at it together? Through faith also, 
Sarah herself receives strength. Son of faith is strength. <laughs> Sarah receives strength. Strength to conceive seed. Dead wombs. Dead wombs are receiving strength. Dead wombs are receiving strength. Dead situations are receiving life. By faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. Sarah received strength. So after they laughed, Abraham laughed. Something happened to them. Something happened to Abraham and Sarah. That shifted them from unbelief to belief. And when that happened, faith brought life into a dead womb. I think I'm, I'm, these people are in a mosque. Let me come in. I want to prophesy to five people. Just five. By the time you leave this room, what men say is dead. What men say is over. What experts have written and said is over. By the time you leave this room, life is entering in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout by faith. I Adilo fell asleep. Some ancient wars are going to fall tonight. radical trust me faith is radical if you don't know go and ask the people one day jesus was having a meeting some people came as we are having a meeting they broke the roof and brought somebody in faith is radical you will gently we form a new package, you know, and no na ekun. Yet when we declare something, no man, hey man, wait, wait. wait. I say ancient walls are breaking tonight. There is a particular angel I see in the room. There's a particular angel. Is the reason I'm making this declaration. That is what he has come here to do. By faith, dead. Oh, like you for signify this elo skefale. Dead wombs came to life. They came to life by faith. By faith. Let me tell you, there are times you may have to rely on the faith of other people, but I want to encourage you to develop your own faith. Develop. That's what Sarah did for herself. Sarah developed some faith for herself. That brought her dead womb to life. I speak to every dead womb. I speak to every dead situation. I speak to every dead, every dead person. There are some of you who are walking about, but you are dead. I call you back to life. In the name of Jesus.